fires back at Phil Jackson after he dropped what some people are calling racist comments. Old Phil Jackson, former coach of Lakers, right? Lakers, Bulls, you know, you got to think he coached somewhere else. Yeah, win, winning the ass Knicks. coach. I think he had the Knicks. Yeah, Knicks. yeah led, led a lot of great black men to championships. But Phil Jackson says he hasn't watched the NBA since the bubble. He said they even had slogans on the floor and the baseline. It was trying to bring a certain audience to the game, and they didn't know it was turning other people off. People want to see sports as non-political. How you feel about that statement right there? Do you think it's a lot of people out there who just want to watch the game? They don't really care about what the players think or what the league thinks politically? Yeah, I think that – I don't think that – I think politics want to get into the league. So yeah, it's like it's the opposite. I think that they're trying to influence to get – whatever brand they pushing or whatever, you know, politics trying to get their way in. So I feel like. Do you think yeah. it's working? If, if that's how you feel, like politics are trying to get their way in. Do you think they've succeeded? Like there might be some truth to what Mr. Jackson is saying. Like now politics are playing a role in a game where they're not wanted. Yeah, because I don't think politics is wanted in sports because of the – the hierarchy scheme and you know you see the black players and you see so it's like i don't think it's really wanted into sports because if you look you know if you do a deep dive you'll see that you know it's in sports so i think you know it's, sometimes they just want you to play the game dribble have fun just you know, shut up and dribble, about, right yeah don't worry about all of this stuff like just <laughs> let's play game you know just play the game so yeah i think a lot of people don't want politics and sports. You know? Well, here we go. ESPN's Jalen Rose blasts Phil Jackson for controversial social justice comments. I totally disagree with that stance, by the way. I, I, I want politics and sports. Well, we'll read here. Hall of Fame coach <laughs> Phil Jackson made headlines over the weekend when he revealed he hasn't watched the NBA in years after what he views as a league taking an overly political stance during the bubble 2020 season at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. His comments drew some raised eyebrows within basketball circles. And one high-profile former player didn't hold back when asked his thoughts on the matter. ESPN analyst Jalen Rose took to social media on Sunday to offer his reaction to Jackson's words, criticizing the former coach who won 11 titles over a 20-year span while leading the Bulls and the Lakers dynasties. Rose denounced Jackson for his views, urging him to stop watching forever. Let's hear what Jalen Rose had to say from his own mouth. You can't make this up. Hall of Fame coach and 11-time champion Phil Jackson claims to have stopped supporting the NBA because it became too political when it went into the bubble and was catering to certain audiences by putting slogans on the back of jerseys and Black Lives Matter on the floor. The same Phil Jackson that won championships with some of the greatest black athletes in the history of the game. Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant made millions on their backs and off their sweat equity. You're sitting mm. up watching the game with your grandkids and y'all think it's funny? Justice passes the ball to equal opportunity? When somebody shows you who they are, believe them. So stop watching forever. Damn. Strong words from Jalen Rose. Strong words from Mr. Jalen Rose. Let me continue on here. Uh. Rose decried Jackson's stance and suggested the 77-year-old stay away from the game for good. Damn. What do you think about his response? You think it was fitting? You think he went a little bit too hard? Or, you know, should he just have, you know, kind of minded his business, let let Phil yeah, how, feel yeah. how he feel and he feel how he feel? Like, what? what where are you at with it? 
I mean, you can't, you know, at fit with Phil stature. I think you could take it to what he said, but he did say political. It became too political. And the political point was the Black Lives Matter. You know, but if that would have been a black man, if that would have been an older black man that said that, you know, I don't think we'll be here talking. But since it's Phil and, you know, Phil may want to come off people, you know, I mean, is he racist? Because, I mean, I think that slogan says a lot but we don't really have no confirmation you know what i mean but if Jalen's taking it like that he's in the basketball world he knows more so he probably felt like it was already some stuff back in but i ain't even talk about that you know you said or you did and now this just confirms it, you know so i gotta stand with Jalen rose on this man you know i don't know what bill jackson is but how he coming off it seems like he got more information you know on this situation and he's in the circle of the NBA. So I got to ride with Jalen on this one. Man. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, what Phil said about, you know, is, is they're trying to attract a certain person, but they're turning other people off. I think the NBA kind of did the math in their head and they'd rather, attract the people that they're kind of attracting and they ain't worrying about the people that they're losing because that whole go woke and go broke type of thing isn't actually true uh anybody if you're interested you could go read an article that they had uh recently in the rolling stone where they provide receipts of companies making record profits since promoting you know, messages of inclusivity or social justice among them being Amazon, Disney, uh, Nike, uh, even Bud Light. You know, anytime a company goes woke, it's good for business. So the NBA might not even really, there might be a lot of people in the uh, NBA who really don't even feel like that in their heart. This might just be a money play. I don't know. You know say I'm not a mind reader, but this is not something that hurts business. So Phil's wrong in the sense that, you know, it, it's, it, he might feel like it's turning off traditional. people that's attracting, but yeah. Yeah. And, you know, traditional, that's what conservatism is based on. People who want things to basically stay the same, you know, that's where the whole make America great again type of thing goes with so it does kind of it's indicative of what phil feels in his heart he seems to be positioning himself as uh you know kind of like a conservative right facing figure those are the people who get turned off by the whole they don't want to see no kneeling they don't care what lebron think on social issues you know what I'm saying they just want to yeah. watch the game that's how that's going to be more conservative people that's how they're going to feel people who are more to the left are going to welcome that kind of thing they're going to they're going to actually call on people in uh like jalen rose uh position or lebron station they're going to want those people to speak more about shit like that like if something yeah. happened that affect the black community and LeBron don't say nothing, Jalen don't, don't say want nothing. Him to say something. Stephen yeah, they gotta even talk. don't say they gotta say something, or people gonna be looking at them crazy. So yeah. True facts. Just two, facts. two different sides of the coin, man. 